CBS 13 every day covering the Stockton Bureau, but now he is with uh, Travis Air Force men in uh, Puerto Rico. Carlos Correa live for us now, joins us now on FaceTime. Carlos, how's it looking there? Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, we arrived here in San Juan, Puerto Rico uh, yesterday, and let me tell you, it was pretty dark. Normally when you drive down the downtown area, you know, you're used to seeing all the lights from the building and all the street light and all the street lights. But here in San Juan, everything was pitch dark because here they lost uh, a lot of their power, uh, the effects of Hurricane Irma. Take a look behind me. You can see this down tree, and that's a lot of what we're seeing uh, around the community is down trees. Um, we haven't seen any homes that have been um, torn down, but that's in other islands as I'm told. I met a fisherman this morning who was telling me uh, he was visiting St. Martin's uh, on vacation. He's from the East Coast. And just when the hurricane hit, all those strong winds um, made him come here to San Juan just to seek refuge. And he's stuck here, just like uh, a lot of other people who are stuck here. He finally found an uh, uh, airline ticket just to go home. Uh, but that won't be until the middle of next week. He was scheduled to be back home by Monday. I know, Carlos, you started in, obviously. I also want to talk to you. Um, I, I, I met another uh, gentleman here. His name is Carlos, like me. And, and uh, he was actually in Sacramento not too long ago. He actually lived here. Um, hey, Carlos. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you experienced with the hurricane over the last couple of days. Well, uh, what we've experienced in the last couple of days is uh, power outage. Uh, we haven't had uh, power or water recently. Uh, we're still getting in tune uh, with uh, the things that are going in the, in the area. Uh, there's a lot of fallen trees. Uh, lions are on the floor. Uh, the strong winds uh, took down a lot of our, basically, our supplies. So uh, we're, we're, right now we're just building up, I would say. Uh, it was a really strong, strong, strong hurricane. And Carlos um, actually drove me to a street where the... the the utility pole was down. You actually live around here, right? Yeah, uh, that means I'm going to be without power for at least two weeks. What's it been like? Because it's right now about uh, upper 80s. The well, humidity right is right really... Now it's 93 with the humidity. You yeah. feel almost like 100. And uh, you feel that inside your house. So like when you're inside and then you feel all that humidity, it gets a little bit hotter. And uh, right now we're just dealing with drinking a lot of water. That's basically all you Absolutely, can do. Absolutely, yeah. I can't imagine. Thanks for talking to us. Um, guys, so yeah, uh, a lot of humidity out here, very hot, people drinking water, and of course, crews, uh, city crews are working extra hard going through the neighborhoods, picking up these trees and falling debris. All right, Carlos Correa live for us through FaceTime in Puerto Rico. He traveled with uh, Travis Air Force Base Airman there on a mission to help in any.